this long-lost 30-minute H.P. Lovecraft adaptation from director Charles Band, starring a quaint but solid cast of famed Lovecraftian genre actors. Jeffrey Combs, everyone's favorite reanimator, plays Jonathan, the evil clergyman, who has a love affair with the Fountain of Youth beauty, Barbara Crampton, as Mrs. Brady. No, not that Mrs. Brady. Who arrives to her previous abode in this dank castle to revisit her boudoir, pining for her dead Jonathan. After a tourist back and forth with the landlady who allows one last visit for our lovely Mrs. Brady, Jonathan proceeds to conjure his spirit whose unfortunate eternity is to haunt this very bedroom. He and Brady rekindle their steamy relationship, even though she is warned by the head spilling dead bishop, played by a solid David Warner. Toying with her fragile state, Jonathan plays a game of hangman and fellatio while wearing his priest collar, not very saintly of him, while a giant rat played by the headstrong David Gale fires foul language barbs at Brady and is a Lovecraft character easter egg, Brown Jenkin, who doesn't appear in the original tale. This lewd, melodramatic, loose telling of H.P. Lovecraft's original story was written by Dennis Paoli, who also scribed the seminal Lovecraft adaptations Reanimator, From Beyond, Dagon, and and most recently, Suitable Flesh. If you're familiar with those titles, you know what you're in for. As Brady's mind becomes engulfed in Jonathan's witchery, she's subject to his influence, which has us guessing in the end. Who actually is leaving the castle? Brady or Jonathan's soul? The evil clergyman, unfortunately, was buried in the vaults of time after Empire Studios collapsed. This was a part of an anthology series and was considered lost. Only recently, a degraded version surfaced and was revitalized. Even if the picture quality isn't the best, this is a gem for Lovecraft fans. One of the things that stands out the most and drives the emotion and narrative is Richard Band's composed soundtrack, which on its own is a gem, but truly enhances the theater-esque performances in the film. So if you're a Lovecraft fan who enjoys loose adaptations with some spice and foul mouth vermin, then this film is for you. Until next time. Fuck you, Our first channel watch party double feature will air March 16th, right here on YouTube. So click links below to be notified. Many thanks for the support, and hail Cthulhu!